and tell the story of the Christ of Calvary. Go and tell the story of the Christ of Calvary. He'll forgive their sins, he will save their souls, he'll cleanse their hearts, he will make them whole. Go and tell the story of the Christ of Calvary. Watch and be ready, for the Lord may come today. Watch and be ready, for the Lord may come today. He will come again in the clouds for me, and take me home for it. Hello children, welcome to day 22 of listening to God's word from the devotional series, Kids Draw the Bible, helping you get the big picture. Before we begin our devotion, let us look to God in prayer. Join your hands, close your eyes, bow your head. Gracious Lord, our most loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Speak to us from your word, O Lord. Teach us what you want us to learn. Help us to listen carefully, understand and apply it to our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's devotion is titled, Jesus is Betrayed. Children, have you ever felt betrayed? Betraying someone is turning against him or her. It is like when a friend acts like an enemy. Jesus had a friend like that. Jesus and his disciples were sharing their last meal before Jesus was about to die on the cross. Jesus told his disciples that one of them would betray him and the disciples were surprised. They thought who would betray Jesus? But Jesus knew it was Judas. Judas immediately left the table and he went to the enemies of Jesus and told them where to find Jesus. And the enemies of Jesus paid Judas 30 silver coins for helping them. Children, Judas pretended to be a friend of Jesus, but he betrayed Jesus. He hurt Jesus by helping his enemies. Children, do you ever betray Jesus? Maybe you hide your Bible when your friends come or you do not want others to know that you go to church and that you're God's child. Or maybe you do not want to pray in front of others. Children, these are some of the ways in which you betray Jesus. Let's read what the Bible says and what God wants you to do instead. Children, if you have your Bibles with you, please turn your Bible to Romans chapter 1 and verse 16. This is your memory verse for the day. Romans chapter 1 and verse 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes. Romans 1, 16. Children, the Bible says that you should not be ashamed of the gospel. God wants you to be faithful to him. Let others see that you love Jesus and that you are faithful to his word. Judas was not faithful to Jesus. Later that night, he brought Jesus' enemies to him and they arrested Jesus and they took him away. Let's talk about this, children. I will ask you three questions. I want you to think about the answers and give the answers to your family members, your siblings or even your friends. The first question is, how did Judas betray Jesus? I want you to write it down in your notebook and draw a picture describing the situation. You can look at the screen, children. You will find a picture with children like you have drawn in their notebooks. Get an idea and draw it in your notebook. And the second question is, how are the people betraying Jesus today? And the third question is, how can you show that you are faithful to Jesus? I want you to write it down in your notebook and remember, God wants you to be faithful to him and to show others that you love him. You can talk to God right now. Join your hands, close your eyes, bow your head. You can begin your prayer by saying, Dear Heavenly Father, and thank God for speaking to you that he wants you to be faithful to him. Ask God to help you to remain faithful to him and to show others that you love Jesus. You can end your prayer by saying, In Jesus' name, Amen. Shall we pray? Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. Thank you for speaking to us, O Lord, that we need to be faithful to you. Help us, O Lord, to be faithful to you. Without your help, we can not do anything, O Master. So we ask you to help us to remain faithful to you and to show through our lives that we love you and that we are faithful to your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Children, if you are blessed by today's devotion, you can share this video with your friends and relatives so that they will be blessed and they will also learn that they should be faithful to Jesus and show others that they love Jesus. God bless you children. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.